Welcome, Comets, to This Week on Campus, your weekly webcast of news, events, and sports here at Western Iowa Tech. I'm Chase Foy. And I'm Chad Phelps. Western Iowa Tech's concert choir and community choir performed live November 9th in the Cargill Auditorium. A solo act was also performed by William Darnwood Jr., the community choir director and conductor for the performance. The ensemble performed various hand-picked songs such as A New Beginning, which was intended to pertain to the changes happening here at Western Iowa Tech. Their next performance will be a Christmas-themed performance on December 7th in the Cargill Auditorium. Make sure to mark your calendars so you don't miss out on these talented performers. On November 7th, Siouxland District Health Department Table event held free STI testing as well as tobacco and nicotine educational material. Students had chances to get door prizes. Reporter Doreen Mishana has more to share. We know that STIs occur um, in the ages between 15 and, eight, and age 24, so this is primary age on, on college campuses and young people. So hopefully we're going to catch um, some of those, and not just find if they have an actual STD, but even just provide some information um, how to you know, choose good partners, limit your partners, good sexual health practices. That's no cost to the college student. Um, we also want them to know that STIs can cause um, other health issues. So we are here today just providing information on tobacco and nicotine and also providing information and doing testing on sexually transmitted infections. So we just want to make sure that everyone is educated, has this information, that going forward they can make their own decisions based on this information that we're given. So it's, it's very important to realize that um, vaping is very much a tobacco product made by tobacco companies, um, not just a recreational thing that is not going to harm you. So if you have questions at all and you know we weren't able to get to you, definitely give us a call. Our phone number at the health department is 712-279-6119. Highlight would be, you know, just getting as much as many students tested here for STIs yeah, and getting that tobacco and nicotine information. If you missed it, make sure to check up the upcoming at WIT TV. When we come back, we'll be taking a look at upcoming events with us. Stay with us. Are you struggling to maintain good financial habits? Then make sure to stop by the Keep Up With Credit presentation on November 13th at the Prairie Place dorms. This event is part two of a three-part series on financial advice for students and others alike. So make sure to stop by if you would like to improve your life financially. A transfer fair will be held at November 14th at 9 a.m. in the Rockland Center, where general and nursing students can ask regents of local and state colleges about the area transfer process. If you, are one of these if you are in one of these programs, make sure to stop by the Rockland Conference Center to learn more about transfer opportunities. The following day will be a career fair as well as an all-program visit day for those thinking about enrolling at Western Iowa Tech as well as those graduating. Both events will be held on November 15th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. in the atrium hallway through the mechanical hallway and the Dunker Student Center, respectively. On November 15th, the Burr Oak Suites High V will be catering a Friendsgiving dinner for students to stop by and celebrate the true meaning of friendship. On November 21st, make sure to stop by the Rockland from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. to celebrate Native American culture. The event will include an educational presentation followed by music and dances, so stop by to show your support. The Police Science Club, along with Community Action Agency of Siouxland, will be holding their annual food drive through November 24th. You can donate perishable food items conveniently placed drop boxes all around campus. The community agency food bank serves families in need providing food, nutritious food items five days a week to those living in Woodbury County. Community Action Agency of Siouxland provides food to more than 3,000 families each year. 
That's all for upcoming events. We'll be taking a look at weather next. Stay with us. so sad. You've got a roof over your head. You gotta stop with that depression stuff. That's a white people thing. You all right? It just feels like it's coming from everywhere. Do you want to talk about it? You can talk to me if you're feeling sad. Whenever you need to talk, I'm here, okay? Welcome back. So Chase, how's that uh, forecast looking this coming week? Well, if, if for it being November 9th, it's going to be, it's going to feel like springtime this whole week. You know, starting off with Saturday, we're going to have a high of 56, and then we have a low of 38. And the rest of the week, we're just going to be in the mid-60s, and then for the low, we're just going to be in the mid-40s, and the low of 33 here. And honestly, it, it's, it's, it's crazy. So yeah, this whole week, we'll just be in the mid-60s, and I, I, I don't know what to do about it. You know, for uh, coming up on mid-November, I cannot complain about that forecast. I can't complain about it either. It's, it's, it's mind blowing to be honest. And I, yeah. yeah. Mid sixties, that's a great forecast. It is. Oh. Well, that's it for weather. When we come back, we will be uh, talking about all the action happening this week in sports. Stay with us. Multiple studies have shown that marijuana can slow both driver reaction and response time, which can be really dangerous. He's here. He's here. Wait, wait, wait. Why? I can't drive. Why? Why? My. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back. So, Chad, kicking off the sports, how have the comments been in basketball? You know, I got to say, the comments really uh, played their first home game in full spirit. Uh, less, they had an exhilarating first game of the season, sweeping the competition with a 100 to 54 against Mount Marty University JV squad. Reporter Colin Simpson asked the head coach, Harvest Cofield, about how their team felt being on home turf. So, uh, how did it feel to um, play in your home court? Oh, it was awesome. Uh, the uh, energy was um, high. Uh, the players was excited about the home opener. Um, you know, we, we thank for everybody that came out. Uh, we wanted to put on the show. We wanted to play well. We wanted to have fun. We wanted to compete. And uh, I think we did that tonight. But uh, I want to say thank you to all the Comet uh, Nation for coming out. And we expect that every single home game. The Comets are going to be hitting the road on the 17th against Williston State College and again on the 18th against North Dakota State College of Science. The Comets will be coming back to town on November 27th to face Morningside University's JV squad at Morningside. Then on December 2nd, the Comets will be back at their home base to face Kirkwood Community College in their first conference game of the season. Yeah, the, uh, the Comets... Them boys are looking good, man. They're 100 to 54. You domination. Domination right domination. there. No comments all the way. Right. That's all we have for sports. We'll have some campus stops when we come back. I thought you were driving. I thought you were driving. Oh, I never said I was driving. I, I definitely can't drive. <laughs> <laughs> if you're high, just don't drive. It's illegal everywhere. If you feel different, you drive different.
As the temperatures fall, the chances of catching a cold rise, so making a trip to the campus clinic is a great way to keep yourself healthy. The campus clinic is located in room A212 of the Kaiser Building. They are open from 8.30 a.m. till 1.30 p.m. Monday through Thursday. No appointment is necessary. Just show your college ID and they'll get you all healthy to, so you won't miss class. If you're looking for a quiet spot to study, work on assignments, or need some tutoring, the library is the perfect place. Open Monday through Thursday from 7.30 a.m. to 9.00 p.m., Fridays 7.30 a.m. to 5.00 p.m., and on Sundays from 5.00 p.m. to 9.00 p.m., and the library is also closed on Saturdays. If you're looking to raise your heart rate or practice your jump shot, the Robert E. Dunker Center has everything you need. The Dunker Center is open Monday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., Fridays 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., and Saturdays 8 a.m. till noon, and Sundays noon to 5 p.m. The Dunker Center is closed during athletic practices, so check with the front desk for information on practice times. Make sure to start your morning off right with a stop at the coffee spot. Before class, you can grab a nice hot cup of coffee and a muffin or a refreshing soft drink and a sandwich or energy drink and a candy bar. They have everything you would need to make your day a little bit better. So the, co the coffee spot is located just inside the main entrance and is open through Thursday 7.30 to 1 p.m. and on Fridays 7.30 to 11.30 a.m. The Campus Bookstore has the newest Western Iowa tech gear and apparel you could want from sweatshirts and hats to backpacks to notebooks. The bookstore is located just inside entrance one across from the IT department. They are open 7.30 a.m. till 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Feel free to check out any of those places on campus. When we come back, we'll have closing remarks. Events and information for Western Iowa Tech can be found on their social media pages. You can find them on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and X, and be sure to follow them for more updates. If you have something you would like publicized on This Week on Campus, email us at thisweek at witcc.edu. This is a webcast from the Mass Communications Department here at Western Iowa Tech, Community College here in Sioux City, Iowa. New episodes of This Week on Campus are posted every Friday afternoon. For the latest content from our programs, please visit our website, witcc.tv, where you can find a direct link to our YouTube page. Be sure to subscribe and have a wonderful day.